It is so great to be back. I only have one question to start this evening. Why did it take you more than 10 years to ask me back? What happened? I was so popular then. It is so great to be back. What changes I have seen in this beautiful part of Australia. There's one change. But one thing that has not changed is my love affair with Mr. Louis. Somehow, some way, no matter how busy we are back in the Philippines, because he works for the very best singers in the country, from Sarah Geronimo all the way down to the guy who and Julie Albert. <laughs> That's how old our audience is, no? Are you finding out? I get this all the time. Women, excuse me, girls, come up to me and they say, oh my God, my grandmother loved you. There's even a couple of, my grandmother loved you before she died. What about you? Well, you're still alive. Are you? Wait, I'm still Poggy? They really didn't say that, I just made it sound like they said it. So I would get that applause, that polite, pathetic. It is such a wake-up call to see some of our fans from the 80s showing us pictures of when we were skinnier. Some of us had more hair, some of us. And without Jing Monis, I would be all white hair by now, like Rafi Toda, I would be like that. So having said all of this and admitting to all of you that we have come through the years, still the best of friends and with all of you, still so honored to sing for some of the hardest working Filipinos in the world, that's you. Come to me. 
come from. I want to know if anyone in the audience, who, who, you, I know we all have our theme songs, yes? You want to try this? We haven't done, we didn't do this in Sydney. We probably won't do this tomorrow, but I want to do it here tonight. Yeah. Louis and I have this magic power, see no powers. <laughs> we have these... <laughs> actually hear the story of a stranger and write that stranger a song. The last time we did this was 19 Forgotten. <laughs> so I want to talk to someone who's not Filipino because I want to be challenged. Almost every Filipino has the same story. <laughs> Don't take a photo. I'm trying to feel the powers. To your friends. They're husband and wife, right? Or are they just fooling around? Is this for real? Husband and wife, yes? Okay. I want to be challenged. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Now we have volunteers. This is a first. Can you come to the center? Because no one can see you there. Please join us here. What are the names? Your names are Nigel and Nigel and Karen. Give them a round of applause, please. I know how hard it is for you to love the people in the Gold Coast. Because you, I know you, you want to be just about Brisbane, but the, you're from the Gold Coast, yes? Join me, please. We've just met tonight, right? <laughs> you must be Karen. <laughs> and Nigel, right? All right, here we go. I want to know your story. Where did you meet? <laughs> you're married, right? How many years have you been married? Uh, uh, how many years have you been married? 27. And you? Uh, 27. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Louis, they've been married for 27 years. Why? I mean, when? Did, uh, not why. When? When you first saw Karen, what was that one thing about her that drew you to her? The smile. Her smile. Her smile. The smile of Karen brought Nigel to his knees. That sounds better, right? Karen, what made you smile? Um, his strength. His strength, that's really too deep for us. I'm so sorry, strength. We don't do strength. His strength, so. Nigel's powers. Nigel's powers. Take that however you want. You meant strength, he's a pillar of strength. The way he could handle the situation. You knew that knowing this man, he would be able to handle any situation you throw his way. What was the biggest challenge in your marriage? Four children. Four children. No time for Candy Crush. 27 years of marriage, his powers made her believe that he is worth smiling for. Okay. You notice that your wife is a lot deeper than you, yes. You're superficial, you're all about looks. Sorry. That's my feminine side, just to know her. is in love with Karen. They will be together forever. I'm writing a song. You can change it if you <laughs> They will be together forever. For as long as they can may weather any storm. <laughs> From the moment he met her. Wait, where did you meet? Bayview. Bellevue? Bayview. Bayview. From the moment he met her in Bayview, they had a view. His flowers, says Nigel, he can prove. Now there's Karen, she's
and remember, we're watching you. And thanks to you, this truly can be a Until we see each other again, until we see each other again, on behalf of everybody in this production, maraming maraming salam. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Please don't wait 10 years to ask me back. I loved it here in Brisbane. Mm -hmm.